Today I will be showing you how to expand and condense a logarithm. To begin, let me uh, demonstrate to you the, the steps to it. If you have a logarithm, for example, notice that the 5 and the x are next to each other. In other words, they're being multiplied. Whenever you have a logarithm that's being multiplied, you're going to use the plus form to separate them. So for example, if you want to separate this logarithm, or in other words, expand it, you're going to rewrite it and you're going to write log with, with base 4 of 5, and you're going to use the plus sign because these two are being multiplied. So you're going to write plus, and you're going to rewrite the log of 4, log with base 4 of x. This is how you rewrite this logarithm when you're going to expand it. In other words, whenever you see a multiplication sign, you're going to write a plus sign. Okay? Remember that this always stays the same. You're going to write the base is going to stay the same for both sides. The only thing that changes are the numbers. And, of course, when you have the plus, the opposite would be the multiplication symbol. Now, suppose we have a division sign, such as, let's see what I have. Suppose we have log 5, 5x, okay? In this case, we have a division sign, so we're going to use the opposite of division, which is which in logarithm, it's the minus sign. I told you that the base, the, the logarithmic ba base, always stays the same. So you're going to rewrite this for both numbers. You're going to say the log with base 5 of number 5. And because this is division, you're going to use the minus sign. Okay, and you're going to rewrite the log with base 5. Of x. This is how you uh, expand this logarithm. The opposite is when you're going to go from uh, the expanded form to the condensed form. Again, whenever you see a minus sign, you use a division, and whenever you see a division sign, you use a minus sign. That's how you expand it and condense. So this, is, this form here is called the condensed form of a logarithm, and this form here is called the expanded form. Okay. I'm going to show you now another rule that you're going to see a lot. Okay, let's look at this one right here. ln x y, z, squared. Okay? ln is, is it's the logarithm, but with base e. So don't be intimidated when you see ln. ln. It's the same thing, it's just with base e. But you do the same operation. Okay? Uh, so what I told you, you get ln, and you write it. Right? This is multiplication, all of this. So the opposite of multiplication is addition. So you're going to write ln x plus ln y plus ln z squared. Now, everything is correct up to here. We have a problem here. And that problem is the squared. Okay? We cannot, when we're expanding it, we cannot have any exponent. So what you're going to do is, you're going to get the exponent or any other uh, number that you have, okay, and you're going to put it here in the front. So instead of writing ln z squared, this 2, you're going to erase it, and it's going to come right here. You're going to put it right there, okay? That's um, another property that it's very important, and you need to learn. Let's see. 
then they're going to give you something that looks like this. ln, and they're going to give you the square root of z. Okay, now we have a bigger problem. Logarithm, when we're going to go from the condensed form to the expanded form, you cannot have any type of square root, whether it's a cubic root, a fourth root, you cannot have that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this, taking away the square root. So you're going to write ln z, and how do we write square root as an exponent? You say 1 over, because it's a square root, you write 2. If it was a cube root, then it's 3, fourth root, then it's 4. But it's always 1 over. And then, when you're in this step, you use the step that I just taught you. Remember, you cannot have um, an exponent in, um, in the, the expanded form of the logarithm. So you're going to get this exponent, uh, and you're going to put it here, right here. So, one half is going to go over here. When you rewrite it, it has to look like this. Let me erase the board. When you rewrite this, it has to look like this. One half ln z. That's how you rewrite this. Okay. Now let's do examples that are a little bit more difficult. For example, look at this one. Log with base 2, and we have the square root of a minus 1 over 9. And we need to uh, rewrite this in expanded form. This is the condensed form. So you use again what I taught you. This stays the same always, so you're going to write log with base 2, okay, this is a division sign, so you're going to do the opposite, which is the minus, so you're going to write the square root of a minus 1, because it's a division, you're going to write minus, this, remember, stays the same, log 2, and then you're going to write 9, okay, so far so good. It looks like this part is good, this part's complete, but this part doesn't look so good. Remember, you cannot have uh, square roots in logarithms, so you're going to write log with base 2, a minus 1, and you're going to write 1 over 2. That's how you rewrite it. Okay, so far we're almost done. We just need one more step. You cannot have any type of exponent. So the, this exponent needs to come here in the front. Okay, so your final result should be, you're going to put this in the front, so it's going to be 1 half log with base 2, a minus 1, and then you just re you write this minus log 2, log of base 2, of 9. And this is your answer for that long uh, exercise.